So Let's Go Brandon gave his State of the Union speech and in typical fashion, he went on a diatribe about firearms. This man is insufferable when it comes to this issue. It's like his brain is stuck in an anti-gun loop and he can't see anything else. So let's debunk this mess, shall we? All Americans deserve the freedom to be safe. I hate when politicians say Americans deserve the freedom to be safe or some variation of the same sentiment because it usually is said right before they tell you how letting them restrict one of or some of your rights is how they're gonna keep you safe. It's essentially a pimp and whore relationship. I'm your pimp. The pimp tells the whore, live under my complete control and give me the money and I'll keep you safe. If you'll let me keep you safe, you will be. And in Joe Biden's case, restrict your 2A rights, give me the money and I'll keep you safe. But you need to ask yourself, how are you going to keep yourself safe from them? Duh. Understand, if you can't keep yourself safe, you'll never be safe. And that's why the Founding Fathers wrote the Second Amendment, because they knew in order to be truly free, the people had to be able to protect their own people. They didn't want us looking to the federal government to keep us safe, because they knew at some point we'd need to keep ourselves safe from that government. The year before I took office, murder rates went up 30%. 30% they went up. The biggest increase, the biggest increase in history. It was then, through, no, through my American Rescue Plan, which every American voted against, I'm mad at, we made the largest investment in public safety ever. Last year, the murder rate saw the softest decrease in history. Violent crime fell to one of its lowest levels in more than 50 years. But we have more to do. Usually, when Biden quotes stats like this, I research the stat to see if what he said is true. But this time, I'm not gonna do that. I'm not even gonna bother. Let's just go with it. He said that the murder rate is down. Now, keep in mind that later in this video, he's gonna tell us that we need to further restrict our 2A rights to decrease the murder rate even more. But here's the problem. You see, since Joe Biden has been in office, more people have permits to carry than ever before because of the Bruin decision that the Supreme Court just handed down not too long ago, which made it easier for the people in anti-gun states to get proof for carry permit. Before Joe Biden was president, there were 16 constitutional carry states. That was less than half the states. Now there are 29 constitutional carry states. That means under Joe Biden, more than half of this country's states have constitutional carry. And an NBC News national poll found that majority of 52% of respondents say that they or someone in their homes owns a firearm. It is the highest number since NBC started asking in 1999. Now, no correlation doesn't always equal causation. If we have more guns, more gun owners, and more people carrying guns, and the number has gone down, guns are likely not the problem, Joe. His nine-year-old sister Jackie was murdered with 21 classmates and teachers in elementary school in Uvalde, Texas. They said, do something, do something. Well, I did do something by establishing the first ever Office of Gun Violence Prevention in the White House, but the Vice President is leading the charge. Thank you for doing it. Joe Biden didn't do anything. You made up an office in the White House designed to give Kamala Harris something to do. <laughs> I couldn't reconcile it, now I can. <laughs> and infringe on the Second Amendment. And you used the school shooting where the cops showed up and did nothing to justify it. This federal office for gun violence prevention is bullshit. Nothing more than a gun control propaganda office to push gun control down people's throats. And so Kamala can placate to black people by talking to rappers who were part of a group where one of the members were killed over an illegal dice game. And now you're using the other members to push gun control. I want my nephew life to mean a lot to a lot of people around the world and most mm -hmm. definitely the culture, especially us screaming the culture, us coming yeah. from the culture, us having a culture album and mm -hmm. changing the game from style to swag to mm -hmm. jury. And now we're gonna change it from from guns into to, to laws, trying to clean it up. They were already breaking the law. How is another law gonna stop it? Come on, stop peeing on our heads and telling us it's raining. Peeing on people, that's normal. Meanwhile, my predecessor told the NRA he's proud he did nothing on guns when he was president. Oh. After another shooting in Iowa recently, he said, when asked what to do about it, he said, just get over it. There is his quote, just get over it. I say, stop it. Stop it, stop it, stop it. Now this, this, this is just dirty. Like real dirty. 
And it also shows you what type of scumbag Joe Biden is. What Donald Trump actually said was, to the entire community, we love you, we pray for you, and we ask God to heal and comfort, really, the whole state, he said. We're really with you as much as anybody can be. It's a very terrible thing that happened. It's just terrible, he said. That's just horrible. It's so surprising to see it here. But we have to get over it. We have to move forward, he said. To all the relatives and all the people who are devastated right now, to the point that they can't breathe, they can't live, we are with you all the way. Biden literally took the whole thing out of context and didn't even blink. That is the kind of person Joe Biden is. And you want me to trust this same person to keep me safe? Nah, I'm cool. I'll keep my second amendment, thank you. I'm proud we beat the NRA when I signed the most significant gun safety law in nearly 30 years because of this Congress. We now must beat the NRA again. I'm demanding a ban on assault weapons and high capacity magazines. Pass universal background checks. None of this, none of this. I taught the Second Amendment for 12 years. None of this violates the Second Amendment or vilifies responsible gun owners. Teaching con law doesn't make you the authority on what is and isn't constitutional. It's not like you were the brainiac of your law school to begin with. As a matter of fact, you were kind of a cheater and a liar. Joseph Biden admitted today that he committed plagiarism when he was in law school. He said it was a mistake, but that it was unintentional. He quoted five pages of someone else's work without proper citation. I've done some dumb things, and I'll do dumb things again. He was given an F. So ladies and gentlemen, I've been dumb. To the political community in Washington, it all seems of a piece. Plagiarism at law school, plagiarism on the stump. The great communicator, strike that. The great imitator. You don't steal verbatim, uh, or when you do, as he did 99% of the time, you give credit. Biden's critics say he sells himself as a man whose words and visions can inspire a new generation in politics. But if the thoughts, phrases, and visions really belong to others, it's a form of false advertising. Is it a wise idea, though, to take something that personal, anyway, from another politician and try and appropriate it to your own campaign? I think it was a stupid thing to uh, appropriate uh, material that was really very personal that was someone else's. Most people didn't know who he was, you know, Joe Biden, Biden and now they're going to say, oh yeah, he's the guy who plagiarized that. <laughs> And I rest my case. I don't care if you taught the Second Amendment on Ragnarok for 30 years and Thanos was one of your students. You're the last person I'm going to listen to about what the Constitution says. You're an intellectual thief. So, of course, you think it's okay to steal people's rights. So, grab your bags and ice cream and let's go, Brandon. It's time for you to leave the White House. Enough of this nonsense. Now, before I go, I want to talk to you about my favorite in-ear hearing protection from AKT1. These are the blackouts. I love these things. They're my favorite in-ear hearing protection whenever I'm at the range because they give me all the benefits of Apple AirPods, but they actually protect your hearing. I don't know why people think that you can actually wear AirPods or even Bose noise canceling to the range and protect your ears from shooting. They don't protect your ears from shooting. These are actually rated 25 dB from NRR. So I love these because they have the Bluetooth. They are wireless. I can listen to music. I can take phone calls. They have to pass through so that I can hear my environment around me while also mitigating any sound decibels that is above hearing safe and protecting my hearing. So Head over to shop.mrcoleonaward.com and check out the 8KT1 blackouts. Uh, right now they're available, they tend to go fast, so head on over there and check them out. And don't forget to like, share, and subscribe to the channel, and leave a comment in the comment section to let me know what you think about Joe Biden's little, little speech that he did there. And, um, and also be sure to uh, check out this other video that I just did talking about how some people are worried about Louisiana now becoming a constitutional carry state.